What's going on, YouTube? We have another series on the channel. I am taking a middle linebacker and trying to win the Heisman Trophy in College Football 25. Everyone likes to be the quarterback, the wide receiver, the running back. I am going to try a journey to win the Heisman on defense. I hope you guys enjoy episode one, the creation of my player, and let's try to win the Heisman. All right, so like I said, 79 overall, we are starting elite. We are going to be a middle linebacker. Uh, we could be a field general, a pass coverage, or a run stopper. I don't want to be a run stopping. I, I kind of want to be either a pass coverage or a field general. I think field general is very well-rounded, which is kind of nice. The quickness, run stopping, pass coverage is decent, pretty quick, good IQ. I think I'm going to do a field general middle linebacker. Yeah, I think that's the best idea here. Ooh, name. I need my name mixed in with an actual middle linebacker in real life. That's what we need. Find some middle linebacker names. Roquan Smith, Fred Warner, Vontae David, CJ Mosley, no, Zaire Franklin, Dre Greenlaw, Quincy Williams, Alex Singleton, Tremaine Edmonds, Spillane. Oh, does, is there a middle linebacker that's last name ends with an L? Who's the best linebacker of all time? Who would you guys say is the greatest middle linebacker of all time? Urlacher? I feel like Brian, I feel like Brian Urlacher was just a dog, man. I mean, obviously Ray Lewis was too, but like, man, home, hometown state. What about Canada? You had Canada? I mean, I might as well just be Ohio because that's just where I'm from, basically. Hometown, Aurora, New Brunswick, Cleveland. I'm going to Cle I'm Cleveland. Cleveland, this is for you. When I when I have do my speech. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it. I got it. All right. I feel like you have like the third in your name. You're like the man. When you're like Luch Jr., the, the fourth, you know what I mean? You're just kind of elite. You're the fifth. Yeah, see, like you're elite. I can, you can tell. If you're if you're like Timmy G. Luch Jr. the third, you're kind of the man, you know. You've been you've been around. Your family's elite. What should be my first name? I need a first name. Junior the third. It would be. So I gotta make it the second. I gotta. I need a first name. Nah, my my first name. I want a I want a soul name like Neymar. You know what I mean? Like I want to be known on the streets by one name. Junkyard dog. What up, man? Appreciate the follow. I want like a Hulk. You know what I mean? I need a. I want one name is one name. Guys are are elite. I'm a, my first name's gonna be the. That's the lead. If your name's the. You're the. You're the man. No one's gonna mess with a guy named the man. Kill you. All right, let's go. Appearance. All right. From the chat, I want a guy that looks like a dog. Remember, this is a middle linebacker. This guy's he can't be soft. This guy's got to be a dog. When you look at him, you gotta. He's gotta strike fear. No, this guy doesn't strike fear. This guy doesn't strike fear. No, no, no. Does a guy with a man bun like this strike fear into my opponent? This guy kind of, I feel like, man, this guy kind of strikes fear. I feel like this guy is a linebacker. Yeah, this guy is the man. He chops trees down during the day and wins the Heisman at night. We need new hair, but he strikes fear. Oh, a couple scars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. A couple scars. He got hit by a couple trees here and there. Where's the scars? There you go. Eye shape, don't care. Nose, no shape. Mouth shape. I don't care about this. Give me cool hair. Why do I change his hair? Hair. There you go. All right. Oh, technically, I could have just picked it. Really, I was just choosing hair. This dude doesn't strike fear nothing. Hell no. This guy just looks like he got a, took a first class trip to Jamaica. And you know, when you go to Jamaica, you just get the things. I know this guy doesn't do nothing. No fear at all. This is a general middle linebacker. No, no, nope, nope. I got to go through every single hair. It's important. This is the biggest decision of my 28, nine year life. Oh, hell no. No, 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 dude, too handsome. We need it. We need some rough around the edges. Yeah, I want like a, like a, give me like a crazy fro or something. That's what I'm looking for. You can't go bald. Is this like the closest to bald? Oh, maybe this faded fro chat thoughts, faded fro with a nice beard. Yeah. Hair color. Mm, just keep it light brown. Facial hairstyle. All right, all right. Big beard. Oh, this guy's a unit. This guy might be him. Dude looks grizzly. Lots. He looks like he'll want to tackle a dude. He looks like a tank. Nah, I don't want burly. I want this. He just, hold on. Let's see. Or is that this? <laughs> oh, this guy looks like the guy in the Simpsons. Yeah. Mr. Burns or something. Oh, what? Just the stash. Not the hair. Not the hair. All right. This is the guy. Oh, this guy's been held back 27 years, man. He's like Stetson Bennett. Same age. 40 year old QB. I think this guy's ready to rock. Physique. Okay. We need arm size. Max. Meat. Rear size. Meat. Thighs, meat, max, maximum meatage. All right, this is for sure. Here, we need his height. Why well, could be seven feet? No, there's no way. Imagine a seven foot middle linebacker. That would be insane. Ah, oh, but then he won't be able to move. Who's the tallest linebacker in the league? Six six. Maybe we need to be tall. Let's do two six six two sixty. Why not? Ted Hendricks was six seven, right? Let's be a Ted Hendricks mold. This guy's a tank, bro. Headgear. My helmet is gotta be. I need a grizzly helmet. Like, no, no, it's gotta be like the bars. Like, I need no visor. 
Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is what I mean. This guy plays football. This guy plays football, right? No, no mask. Masks to this guy. You don't want a mask. It's too soft for this man. Vintage two bar, no visor. Do these guys wear mouthpieces? No, they don't believe in mouthpieces. No way. There's no way he believes in a mouthpiece. Face marks, tape. Oh yeah, they're gonna have the full. Yeah. Oh yeah. This guy's the man. This guy plays football. Agreed? This guy's a football player. Torso, jersey style. Yeah, man. Let's give him this. <laughs> That's crazy. Who plays? No, no. These guys play forever, man. They don't... This guy This guy would be like Nolan Ryan. He'd pitch like 200 pitches in a game. Back plate. Yep. I feel like he'd wear long sleeves or loose sleeves. These guys, loose sleeves. Back plate. Shoulder pads got to be the ones that hurt people. The extra large. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Neck pad. You need a neck pad, right? Like Bojack. Vintage neck roll. No, that's too much. Like a half. Nah, no, not that either. Uh, we need this. Like longest yard. That, exactly. That's the vibe. Yeah, this guy's the man. Flak jacket. Bro going to war? I mean, he is going to war to me. Flak jacket. If there's a war that breaks out on the field, my guy is prepared. He's ready for war. Undershirt. That's the least of my worries. I got a flak jacket, brother. Hey, I don't need an undershirt. This guy, this is the guy. I like this. This is the guy. Arms. Oh, we haven't even gotten started yet. No, I don't think these guys wear nothing. They don't wear no sleeves. Like, no, nah, no. Nah, they just, they go out there and ball. I don't think this guy would have like a wrist. Nah, they don't believe in tape. Uh, nothing on the wrist. Lower body. What's this? Socks? No, no. They don't wear this either. They need, they need to see their legs. Pants above knee. Standard pants. Towel. Nah, towel. I feel like a towel goes kind of hard, no? Towel to the, to the left. Nice towel. Wipe your hands on the blood of your enemies. Hand warmer? Hell no. This guy would not wear a hand warmer. Honeycomb. I want, yeah, big, yeah, there we go. Knee brace? Give him a knee brace. And what do you think? Left knee? Did he hurt his left knee in college or his right knee? Uh, he's a, he's right knee dominant. Right knee brace? He's He's been through some things. Justin Johnson, can you? I feel like it would be enormous. What shoes remind you of an old school linebacker? No color. Black or white? No, no, none of this swag. They, these guys don't have swag. Gotta be black shoes, right? Why are they blue? White New Balance. Ah, you're, see, you're thinking, man. Adidas, Jordan, Nike, Adidas. No, not Adidas. Jordan, black. Wait, why are they blue? Oh, it's the model shoe. There's no New Balance? Or were they like the dads? Like the dad 11s, you know what I mean? They literally have Nike and Adidas. Jordans, Under Armour, Nike. Oh, they didn't have these back in the 1400s, man. All right, I'll just wear low-cut Jordans. Sock height? High socks? Nah, they, they didn't wear socks. It's regular socks. What is this? They didn't tape their shoes? No, no, no. This, this man would never tape his shoes. Never. All right, what do we think? Thoughts on this absolute unit of a man? Middle linebacker, 6'7". Do you like that? Give me a W if, we, if we're on board. Are we on board with this guy? Any cha last second changes? Or are we good to go? Both knee braces? Oh, can I do both? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're actually right. Hold on. I didn't know. I forgot you could do both. Yeah, this guy. Yeah. I agree with that, actually. I, I, oh, yeah. I know you can't. That's what I was looking for. You know, like the arm thing, like Ray Lewis? That's what I was looking for. It would be under arms, but no, nah, they don't have that. They only have like tape. That's literally exactly. Oh, wait, maybe it's under elbow. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, ho, ho. yeah. Oh, double brace. Oh, yeah, there it is. I didn't think we had it. Double? Oh, my. This guy's a unit. Oh, yeah. Oh, ho. Yeah, this is the guy, bro. He is ready for war. Did we do both sides or one? Both sides? Did Watt wear it on both sides? I don't remember. Let me see Ray Lewis. No, he wore it just on his right. Just on his right. All right, we'll take one off the left. This guy's a unit, bro. Yeah, let's take one off. Should we do opposite with knee brace? Like just left knee brace? Kind of be like, not symmetrical, but like kind of... Nah, nah, double knee brace is crazy. All right, this is it. This is the guy. Actually, no, no. Actually, this guy has a single knee brace on his left knee. All right, that's what we're doing. Right knee brace is gone. There. This is how Ray Lewis came out. This is it. Yeah, this guy's a monster. Here it is. Luch Jr., the second, has been created. This is him. I would not want to mess with this guy on the streets, and he's coming for the Heisman. All right, let's choose our team, shall we? Local reporter doing a story on your college decision. I have a few questions for you. Which one do you want the most important? Competing for a national title? Get NL... NIL opportunities, become a starter, improve my abilities quick. Ooh. Are we about that bread? I want to be a starter. I have a question about the Heisman. Is the Heisman voted on before the college football playoffs or is it voted at the end? Because I know like in hockey and football, obviously the MVP is just voted on before. So it's before. We got to be on a good team. So that means I got to be a starter. I got to be a starter. 
It's not necessarily national title, but I got to be a starter. Yeah, I need, I need a start so I can do some business, which is also important. A strong schematic fit, close proximity, eventually get drafted and playing professional. Yes, we're going to the league. Finally, which is these important? Coaching staff or new facilities? I don't care about facilities. This middle linebacker works out in, at his farm. He doesn't need no top of the line facilities. I want a good coach. Okay, we're all done. Thanks for your cooperation all right wait he see you i'd be a starter school fit is a c plus oh i'd be the oh okay tcu the horned frogs i would be the starter there oh okay west virginia school fit b i don't think we're gonna win a natty here oh well, you can sort by stars okay let's start by five star program i want to be on a good program oh we'd be second in the depth chart oh actually we'd be first in the depth chart in notre dame michigan we'd be second i'm not going there ohio state we wouldn't even be on the depth chart they have angel reese <laughs> look 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 at the bottom who told me she's a multi-sport athlete angel reese sophomore for ohio state bam i'd be third georgia i'd be third all right notre dame i'd be first bro and this team is five stars and should i be notre dame i'd be number one there let me see a four-star team auburn tennessee hex Oh, what about Texas? School fit A plus. Job security up. They're a good school. Oh, FSU. LSU would be number two. No, no. I need to be number one on the depth chart. No, nope, no. Nope, nope. So these schools I would start. I'd be number one. FSU, Texas, Tennessee, and Auburn. I think if we go to three stars and three stars, we're just not going to win a natty here. Because remember, it's half sim. These, these teams aren't going to do well in sim. Colorado, no. So I'm going to go. Okay, so I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to leave the chat a poll. All votes would be greatly appreciated. Where do we go? So do we do Notre Dame? So this is a five-star school. 88 overall. I'd be the starter. Tennessee, they are 86 overall. Texas is 88 overall. Texas is looking good because it's an A-plus fit too. Or FSU. Actually, you know what I think about? I want to be on a school where it's a school fit A-plus or A. So these two are A-plus, A. Uh, Notre Dame is B. Uh, no, nah, I don't want Notre Dame. Tennessee. Tennessee's an 86. Texas is an 88. Florida State. I think just those three. So I'll give you guys two minutes. You guys can make the vote. Those are the teams that I will start and probably the best chance of me actually going on a run because they're higher overall. Because remember, I have to win the Heisman. So I can't, I'm not going to be on a poor team because we're going to struggle. So I'm going to put the pull up and you guys go. Ball State. No, you know what? This one isn't a challenge. This one, I have to win the, I have to win the Heisman. So if we're not winning, if we're not winning games, then I'm never going to win the Heisman. You know what I mean? This needs to be on a team that wins and I have a chance to be great. And the, the team wins I'll be good. Now, that's why I said, like, for my dynasties, when I use a really, 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 really good teams, I'm going to give myself a disadvantage. Like, I have to cut the quarterback, hunt them the ball, all that fun stuff. When I'm using a lesser team is when I do, like, the recruitment, all that fun stuff. Same thing, road to glory. The next one, I'm going to do either a QB or a running back that's an underdog, like a two-star underdog. And when I want to win, so when I do my road to glory for corners and middle linebacker, I'm going to be on a good school so we can actually win, you know? If I had to make my own vote, which team is, you know what? I feel like FSU is cool. Yeah, chat, vote up, vote up. Okay, get your votes in. They are nice jerseys. We have a tie. I'm going to do a poll with FSU and Tennessee now. Winner gets it. All right, one minute. If you guys could all vote on the poll, that'd be greatly appreciated. Go, 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 go. Oh, duck race. Ah, oh, yeah, you're right. I could probably do that. That's a good point. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's decide who's in the duck race. Uh, all right. So do we want these three in the duck race? Tennessee, Texas, Florida State. That works. These three. All right, here we go for the team. Go. One race. Who's winning? Who's going to glory? I think it's going to be FSU. There it is. FSU is where we were taking our talents. W. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right. It has been decided. Florida State Seminoles. Luch Jr. is coming home and winning you the Heisman and revenge, avenging your previous season to go undefeated and not be chosen. We are signing. Let's go. Luch Jr. the second is going to Florida. Dubs. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for episode two coming soon. Remember to drop a like, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.